Hello, this is Patrick Welch, otherwise known as Mr. Newbie, and today I am reviewing the Samsung Galaxy Nexus smartphone. This is a 4G LTE phone uh, running on Verizon wireless. Uh, this is also the first phone that I have reviewed and or tested that has the new Android 4.0 uh, operating system on it. Uh, for those of you who know the nickname for it, it's called Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, that alone made this very difficult for me to review and, and honestly to like this phone uh, because of the changes. And let me explain that just a bit. Uh, across the bottom of most Android phones, I'm used to seeing the uh, home button, the back arrow, the menu button, and a search button. Well, that's kind of uh, changed now. Instead of four buttons, there's three of them and only two of them from the original set. So you still have the uh, back arrow button and the home button, but gone are the menu button and the uh, search button. And it's replaced with a new multitask button. And this button is when you, one of those buttons that when you press, it shows you all of your running apps so you can quickly switch between them. I actually really like that button. Uh, it's very, uh, what it does is it makes it more like the uh, Android tablets that have had that uh, in the honeycomb. Uh, operating system. So it is a neat way to switch between that. And I do like that, but uh, as I'll explain in a bit, it's actually, uh, it took me a long time to get used to not having that menu button. But uh, before I talk about that, let me talk about some other things that I like. Uh, the display on here is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's the high definition Super AMOLED display, so everything just looks crisp and gorgeous on there. I can't complain anything about that. Uh, the camera is the thing that actually took me uh, the most by surprise, and I'll actually try and show this, uh, but um, when I go to the camera and take a picture, I'll line up, uh, let's see, a picture of a, oh, a little, my little remote control here. Uh, I'll take a picture of this, and right now I'll say when I press the button now, and you heard that little sound, that's how fast it took the picture, so an absolutely blazing fast uh, camera on there. Um, but back to some of the confusing things, um, the menu button, as I stated, is, is a button I heavily rely on, and that is um, gone, and it's been replaced with uh, an actual uh, kind of on-screen button within each app. And what I don't like about that is it kind of reminds me of the iPhone. I never know where it's going to be. Um, sometimes it's in the top right corner. I notice in other apps it might be in the bottom right. Uh, I got really spoiled by having that uh, hard button right at the bottom, always knowing I could hit menu and get some options available to whatever app I was in. And let me just state that um, I'm coming from the older Android operating system, so I don't know, uh, you know, if this was the very first Android phone I ever used, I'd probably be really excited about it and I wouldn't know the better of it. It kind of reminds me when Microsoft Office went to the ribbon display in uh, the 2007 version, and a lot of people uh, were really confused on how to use the new one, even though it might have been better, but someone who's, let's say, starting out with uh, Office 2007 and didn't know the old interface, uh, they wouldn't know the better of it. So that may be the case here. I'm, I'm biased in the fact that I did have an Android phone before Ice Cream Sandwich, so uh, it's a little bit confusing for me to use. So um, some other things I really like, um, from the lock screen, you can go straight to the camera, so it's a real quick way to get to the camera. I still like the phones, they don't seem to do this anymore, that have a button that goes straight to the camera, but this is a nice little compromise when you're trying to whip your phone out quick and get that uh, quick picture. Uh, let me see. The notification center is nice. Uh, when you swipe down the notification center, you now can um, actually swipe to delete individual notifications so you don't have to do this all or nothing kind of uh, I've read everything and clear it all out if you want to just get rid of one of them and save one of your other notifications uh, you can do that so uh, that's a nice feature another thing I wanted to mention about the uh, Nexus phone is that there are no hard buttons on the bottom of it it actually uh, the buttons are part of the display I call them a, a soft button uh, and that can serve as an, uh, it, it can actually be an advantage because uh, if you get to an app, like let's say I go to the camera, uh, that actually goes to the, uh, the rotated display, uh, you'll see it shows up as the, the buttons kind of are gone from the bottom, and they show up as three little uh, kind of grayish white dots on the side here. If I touch kind of in between them, you can see now the, the back, the multitask, and that home button in the middle have, have moved over to the right-hand side of the display. So kind of each app can... Uh, determining if you're in a wide display to put the uh, those menu navigation buttons on the right versus having them on the bottom when I've had it uh, more of a portrait display. 
other than that, I think it's a, uh, it's a fantastic phone. It looks great. It's fast. Uh, I just really struggle with that uh, ice cream sandwich. So I guess my advice would be, if this is your first phone you're ever getting that's an Android phone, go ahead and try it out. And, and you know, if you don't know the old way, you may never know the better of it. And uh, you may really like this phone. Uh, for me personally, um, again, it's a little, str I struggled a bit getting used to it. Um, you know, maybe if I gave it enough time, I might really, really like it. But for now, I would probably pass on this phone just because um, it, it's, it's a little too awkward for me. And again, you know, I may change my mind on that a few months down the road when this kind of becomes the norm and ice cream sandwich shows up on more phones. But uh, if you're just looking for a great phone, um, with great display, fast camera, everything, uh, I, would, I would recommend this, but um, me personally, I will probably pass on this phone.